we need to uh, realize that even if they crush us, they're not going to kill our spirit. And the Occupy movement is going to go on. We've already built enough up. We have, you know, we know each other. We know how to work with each other. We have a lot of our basic demands already made um, in place. Um, we are going to continue this movement in our offices, in our homes, in our, in our churches, our, our, wherever we are. The future of Occupy. There's actions, teach-ins, protests, workshops, conferences, seminars, and more. The issues include stop foreclosures, homelessness, and education cuts, get money out of politics, save the environment. On New Year's Day in Pasadena, there was a summit at All Saints Church and also in Memorial Park. In All Saints Church, it was the first time there was public discussion about the foreclosure crisis in Los Angeles. New Year's Day 2012 was also the first day of the Age of Aquarius, so you could say it's the beginning of a new era of Occupy. The next day, at the Rose Parade, one of the biggest public events in the world, there was a peaceful people's parade that followed the traditional Rose Parade. And tens of thousands of people this year were exposed to the message of the 99%. Images, including video, went viral all over the world. Inter-Occupy is a, an important part of the Occupy movement moving forward. It consists right now of teleconferencing calls on various topics with people all over the world on the phone at the same time. And also meetups. <laughs> Tom, what do you think, what do you see as the future of Occupy? What do I see as the future of Occupy? I think we're standing amongst it right now. Thank you very much. <laughs> future of Occupy is excellent t-shirts such as yes. this one. Yeah. Yeah. So in lieu of like just kind of us figuring it out right now and having this like really clear vision of um, what it will be in the future, I think what's exciting is that um, we're listening to each other and we're kind of discovering together what it will be. What do you think the future is about? Uh, I don't know. Are you... Life is unpredictable. We could knock some sense into the government. I fight for closure. That's what we do. We help people that are losing their homes now. Check, my check, my check, so, my check. I'm going to be in touch with you because we're trying to do some major stuff to try to help families. Please. Pa families are hurting. Families. They're losing, yeah. Families. That's, all it's, that's what it's about. All right, thank you for coming thank out here, man. Thank you for your man. work. Appreciate it. Man, what here. do you see as the future of Occupy or just for the future? What, what hope do you have? Well, I'm a hopeful guy. You know, I, I try to remain yeah, hopeful yeah. from, from sunup to sundown, not always easy, and that's challenged by the minute. But, you know, you see people like this who aren't complacent, and that motivates and inspires me to not be complacent with the status quo. What you could do now, there's general assemblies, there's committees that you can be a part of on numerous topics. Also, affinity groups. social media where you can be an administrator. There's also blogging, Facebook, Twitter, and even online magazines coming. Broadcasting and production, video, live streaming at Actions, Occupy TV, Occupy Radio, print media, newspapers and magazines. Collaborations locally, nationally and globally are happening. Expect festivals, fundraisers. You can even be part of teams that create educational materials interactive online games, build strong relationships, make new friends. What can you add? In the squares of the city, near the shadow of the steeple, at the relief office, I see my people. Some are grumbling, 